Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day. And today we have the new update. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the video then. Let's go. Okay, of course we have to read the lovely news website first. And this says, hey Star Fam, your vegan folklore abounds with tales of tree spirits appearing as horses and nearly every tree has its own story. They're like camouflage in the back. We love that. Magical tree horses, the burker is the horse of birch trees. Encountering a burker is a sign of a new beginning after overcoming hardship. They are most common in springtime and regularly aid lost travelers. The burker takes after the marwari as straight and slender as the trunks of birch trees. And you could get it for 950 star coins. The Hanami belongs to the cherry trees and are a symbol of rebirth and herald of spring. Like bo blossoms, they are a reminder to treasure the beauty of today, for it may be wilted and gone tomorrow, but will return again. To the untrained eye, the Hanami appears as a regular Perdron working horse, but to those who are in magically inclined, their flowing flowery manes and bark-like coats are a sight to behold, and the Perdron is only 850 star coins, so that one is a little bit cheaper. They can be found found with Gary Goldtooth at his usual camp in Moreland close to Jasper's barn. I thought it was Jasper's pumpkin farm and I was concerned. But yes, they are staying until the Wednesday update April 6th and this is their normal form and their not so normal form and spider patch. Spurker and Hanami were inspired by the magical horse Birch and Sakura. They named them Birch and Sakura. I don't remember them be okay. Anyways, these are one time magical horses released for a time back in 2019. As Birch and Sakura have been requested so often, we decided to make new horses inspired by the ri original, which still honoring the promise of keeping them exclusive. We promise we will bring back Berker and Hanami at some point though. And there is a name change discount. And this is a temporary update for your horse. And you can rename your horse for only 65 star coins. So if you want to scurry on over there and change your horse's name, you could do that. Or you could just say it in your mind. And also there's some lovely spider pet. Whoa. Oh, cute. All right, without any further ado, let's get on into Star Stable then and check this out. Okay, I didn't get a news reminder this week, so I said they were at Moreland, so we are just going to head over there then and check these two lovely horses out. I'm actually surprised. Don't mind that I'm literally like bareback and started in the middle of nowhere. Don't mind that. No. Okay, let's go to Moreland and check it out. I am actually surprised that these horses have different prices. Because when Star Stable usually like releases a magical horse, you know, they like keep the prices similar, but one is more expensive. Berker's 950 as compared to Hanami, which is only 850. So that is kind of weird, but I don't know. Okay, so we are going to head over here. There were already magical horses, so I don't know if they took them away already or if they're just going to like stack them all in the same location, you know? They could be doing that as well, so we're just going to head over there and check it out but of course it's the regular magical location for the magical horses right over here oh they're just stacking them this is nice Ooh. <gasps> It's so weird to see them in game. And the spider, ew, the spider pets. What, ew, ew, ooh. Cherry the Chomper. You have Cherry the Chomper and what's this? To have my pet spider named Chomper and Bitey. Okay, why am I actually kind of loving Hanami more in game than I was in the trailer? I actually really do like it. And the like pink ombre eyes, I really wish I could test ride a horse before I have it because it, it would make my life so much easier. And also like on the detail, there's lots of like leaves around its hooves. And I also like how they match it. Like it's kind of weird. They got kind of like a teal to match with the pink, but it's really cute. And I love its flowery mane and tail, like just the pink. It is beautiful. Let's see its non-magical coat as well. I kind of love it. This is the non-magical coat and oh, it's stripey. I was not expecting that. It's really strange, but I really do like it. And there's also like highlights in its mane and tail, which is really cute. And its eyes stay that kind of like pinkish color, which is really nice as well. But it does, it's very stripey. Shadows kind of glow 
glitchy, but you know, we don't mind that. And of course, we have Burker, which is the birch one, and let's get a close-up on those flowers in the hair, the petals, because this actually doesn't look pixelated. Like, when you zoom in, it is only a very tiny smidge pixelated, as compared to, I think, this one, Hanami, where it is a little bit more pixelated in the main. Like, let's just zoom in on that main real quick. Okay. See, it is a little bit more pixelated in the main with the flowers there, as compared to the leaves, which aren't as pixelated. And let's see, are the leaves coming off the horse? They are not. They are are still spray painted on but they have that quality you know they kind of like pop out so that's nice and this one kind of looks like a worn down birch tree which is really cute and also the kind of like hooves kind of match the floor you see that look someone already has a special horse Hanami that makes me want Hanami <gasps> bestie Karen blueberry maker are you all right you are floating where maybe Karen's just having a good time there all right Karen you do you <laughs> and this one has green ombre eyes, which oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. I feel like I have more horses that look like this though, as compared to the like stripy kind of non-magical coat. I really think that's super unique and their eyes stay a special color, which is really nice. But if you zoom in, it doesn't look like that one has like the furs marking. It's just smooth and then like kind of stripy around where the gray. But other than that, this is is what the horses look like. Oh, this one has a little hoof marking. Oh yeah, and some little chestnuts there. Does this one have that? It has come for me to decide which Karen just has teleported. That is a new thing you can do in Star Stable, apparently. We love that. And there are also still the other- I just intersected a horse, please. Okay, um, but these are the two horses, and Burker is 950 star coins, whereas Hanami is only 850 star coins, and I really don't know. I was coming into this thinking that Burker is the one that I would really, really want. No, I love Burker's magical form a little bit too much. I just love how unique it looks. And off of the older Lucid Tano models, I actually got the cherry tree one. So I think I'm going to go with Burker and buy this um lovely horse real quick. So let me just come up with a name and I will be right back because this usually takes me hours. So I will be right back once I come up with a name, but I absolutely love both of these horses so far. Okay. Um, I came up with the best name in existence, Birch Humming. Let's buy Birch Humming, yeah. Okay, that lagged a little bit. I was about to say, yay, Birch Humming. Welcome to our home stable, snazzy. Hey, let's go and check this horse out. I'm really excited. I do want some of the spider pets, but I don't think I'm going to get them in this video just because, oh yeah, look at that, so cute. Let me just snatch that. All right, anyways. <laughs> totally didn't see me take a picture of the spider. Okay, let us go back to our home stable and make an outfit and check out this lovely tree horse. They literally made tree horses. It's beautiful. All right, let's go. Are these like the only plant-themed horses in Star Stable? There's no way. There's no way they're the only- I feel like Star Stable has made a ton of plant-themed horses, but I can't think of any that come to mind. Okay, birch humming is near the beginning of the- Birch Humming! Yes! Such a great name! Wow! To be honest, when I first saw the Marwari model, I was not expecting it to be this good! Not gonna lie, Bestie, I really do like it. Look at its ears! It reminds me of caterpillars in its ears. Look at that, its ears. Okay, let's make an outfit with this lovely horse. I really love the magical coat on this horse. I would definitely give it like a solid nine out of ten just because i feel like even if you zoom in this is one of the pics this is one of the horses where it's not as pixelated as i showed before I, it's um it's a little bland this coat so no i did not want that i did not want that okay let me just do the little life hack. There we go. Um, but I definitely love its magical coat. As compared to its other one, though, I would prefer the magical coat over it just because I feel like I have quite a few horses with this kind of, like, theme going on. But, um, you know, other than that, its magical coat is... 
outfit time. Let's see, what can we do? Oh, oh, did you know I was going to match green to my outfit? What? That's so weird. We're like on the same level. Okay, maybe like camouflage? We could go with that. Green pants. It's finally time for my green pants to shine. I bought so many green pants one day. I was like, green pants? Interesting. I haven't seen anyone do an outfit with this color scheme before. That's probably for a valid reason. Not good. That's probably for a valid reason, Busty. All right. You know what? We're just gonna ignore that fact and um, try this out anyway. Okay, so this is my outfit I've, cre I've created for it. And I think it works. Why am I so tiny? What is going on? I'm like so far in the background because my other horse was so big and Marwari is like, uh, okay, here we go. I make it work, right, bestie? Right, um, Tau 10, I know you're not judging my outfit. I mean, why would you? Uh, when this is such a lovely creation, wow. Okay, well, this is the birch horse and we will have a little montage of it so stay tuned for that and this is what it looks like oh I kind of do love it like the green eyes match the outfit you know I feel like I do need to change the pants because they're a little bit too bright green I just got so many different shades of green that it's not tying it together and I feel like that's the problem here maybe there's a more in-depth problem but it's too bad and I really do like this horse just like the detail in the magical coats and I definitely am growing to love the regular coat as well like it just kind of works you know and the eyes pop it is just iconic and without any further ado let's get into a little montage of this new horse a burker Upon taking an even closer look at this horse, I think it's definitely turning out to be one of my favorites. I mean, the detail in the ears, like I can't tell you guys how much I like that. I don't know why, it's just a leaf in the ear. <laughs> it's a leaf in the ear, Baste. That is so cute. And then like even the fact that when you zoom in on the tail and stuff, pieces of lettuce, they don't, they don't pixelate as much and I find that interesting. I really do like that. And to snack on the go, infinite lettuce. So it's kind of a two in one deal if you ask me. All right, anyways, bye everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have the best day ever. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already as it truly does make my day. And I currently have an open free 500 star coins code giveaway on my channel. If you want to check that out, be sure to as it closes this Friday. And um, yeah, let me know what you prefer in the comments down below, Burger or Hanami. And yeah, bye! Have the best day, bestie.